What's up guys? We are five weeks out from the competition doing a back workout. Let's get started. So I'm starting with the deadlifts and I like to start with a nice compound this is heavy a exercise like this one because every single thing you do after this, you're gonna feel that shit like 10 times more, you know what I'm saying? Cause your back's already fucking beat up. So everything you do after this, you're gonna really feel it. So I like to start with something uh, compound like this. All right. So I take this first set, you know, it's lightweight. I really take it just to warm my form up, find that perfect rep that you're looking for, you know what I'm saying? I'm pushing through my heels, keep my back tight, my core tight, keeping the bar close to me, just warming that pathway up for the heavier weight that's to come. All right, moving up to two plates. And this is kind of like the same thing, you know, this isn't too heavy for me, just kind of warming up the form still, really trying to feel it, warm that pathway up, making all the adjustments I feel like I need to make. <coughs> order to feel the tension in all the right places so I'm just looking for that perfect rep where I can feel the tension exactly where I want it gotta use that chalk man you know what I'm saying moving up in weight that shit really helps chalk is really cool I like it all right so now we're at three plates and this is where I'm really starting to feel shit now everything's warmed up now it's like BAM I'm feeling everything getting broken down with this one you know, I'm feeling the tightness in my back. I'm feeling the pain. I'm feeling all that. This is like that work now, and I like it. Um, but check that out. I hit a lot of reps, so it's like, hey, why don't you go up and feel that pain a bit more? Like, let's try with some heavier weight. Let's feel that destruction with some heavier weight. You know what I'm saying? Let's fuck these muscle fibers up. See, that was a burnout, and I only hit three reps. I wouldn't really want to go up anymore because the next set, I might only hit one or some shitty rep. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather come down and get some nice quality reps now and really feel that pain really get some volume and some intensity right now so i drop the weight hit a drop set and just burn out i'm not saving any energy at this point i'm burning out every single time strip the weight again two plates on let's burn the fuck out we ain't saving energy now these reps are going to be the ones that you really feel the most because everything's already burnt out you feel the pain so much so you can kind of activate your lats you can activate your hamstrings so much because you feel the pain there so you know where those muscles are inside of your body and it's kind of easier to activate. So I like to start with something heavy like that and fuck everything up so I know how to activate everything. Now moving on to these lat pull downs and I want you guys to notice how slow I'm going. Watch the control. You know, pull down, squeeze. I'm pulling through my elbows and my lats, not my arms. I'm really feeling the tension in my lats. As I come up, I'm slowly letting it up. I'm really feeling the stretch. I'm resisting. I'm not just letting the weight fly up because you have to resist in order to feel the stretch. So I'm always in control, always resisting the weight, looking for the stretch, looking for the contraction in my back, and I'm resisting the weight at all times to make sure those things are even possible. So focus on the form, perfect these reps, make them effective. Moving on to the seated rows now. Look how slow I'm going again. Really looking for the stretch right now. You gotta resist the weight for the stretch. Squeeze at the end. Stretch, stretch coming back pulling through my elbows and my lats not my arms not my arms I feel the tension in my back all right so squeeze resist the weight all the way back there and squeeze again resist get the stretch squeeze resist stretch squeeze very repetitive shit guys that's why I don't count my reps though because I'm just trying to make that rep the most quality that it can be now moving on to these straight arm pull downs and notice I already start from a stretched position I, I stretch my lats out as much as I can to start because um, wherever you feel a stretch when you're working out is a good indicator of what body part's gonna be hit. So I make sure I feel the stretch in my lats, then I start resisting the weight and pull it, squeeze at the end. And I never stop resisting the weight. It's a constant stream of tension. I never stop resisting. Bam. Squeeze, resist, resist, stretch, 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 squeeze. You know what I'm saying? It's very repetitive, like I said. And with this accessory work, I'll usually hit about four or five sets and I'll increase the weight each set and I'll burn out, burn out until I feel like my reps are ineffective. Then I come back down and wait. And that's usually like the fourth or the fifth set that I come, I start coming back down. Now we're moving on to the um, bent over rows with dumbbells, two hands at a time. I like these. And look how I'm leaning forward. I'm really getting that stretch still. You see, stretch, stretch, stretch. You gotta lean forward a little bit, get that full range of motion, get that full stretch in your lats, okay? And you pull them back, get that squeeze at the end. So that was kind of heavy, so I dropped the weight. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt like my reps were getting ineffective. The weight doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna feel everything at this point because your back is destroyed. You just went through all those workouts, you're gonna feel everything. So I dropped the weight a bit, burning out every single time here. 
Um, I stayed at the same weight. This will be my third set. Burning out again. Still trying to keep the form, just doing what I can. Now, it's like this is the last set and I gotta go light. Cause it's burnt the fuck out, but I still want more reps in. Cause I, when you feel the pain, like I said, you know how to activate your your lats, whatever body part you're working, you know how to activate it so much better. Cause you feel the pain there. So it's like, for some reason, you just know where that body part is in your body. Like you just know how to activate it. Cause it's, you feel the pain. I can't explain it. So when I start feeling that pain, that's not when I stop. That's when I start fucking practicing. I pick up lighter weight and bang out as many reps as I can so I can practice contracting my lats better. Now to end this workout off, we're coming to the uh, some pull-ups, man. Keeping it simple, you know what I'm saying? Keep it basic. And I'm just burning out here. I, I'm, you're burnt out anyway, so you probably can only hit about six reps. That's all I could hit. So I did about six reps each one, and I only did three sets. <clears throat> so, yeah, I hope this helped you guys. I think some main things you could take away from it, obviously, are just making sure you get the full stretch with that full range of motion focusing on pulling through your elbows and your back and not your arms so you're actually targeting your lats and resisting the weight resist 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 because the wrist the resisting the weight allows for the stretch if you're not resisting the weight you're not even going to feel the stretch so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate you guys definitely more videos coming soon soon <laughs>